features of this one that I really, really like. It's easy on the bees and definitely easier on the beekeeper. Hello, beekeeper friends. I'm Ricky Rourke, and today we're gonna to talk about swarm traps. It's April the 20th in the mountains of North Carolina, and it's swarm season. I came in this afternoon, swarming the tree. So if you wanna keep your bees, if you just happen to walk to your apiary and see a swarm, that's great. You know, you shake them in a box, you got them. But if you're not there, like most beekeepers, a swarm trap's real important if you wanna keep your bees. So the thing about swarms and the traps that I've run for the last three years come up with a little different design. And I wanna share that with you guys today. Not only do I wanna share it, I'm gonna give you my design so that maybe that'll help you with your bees. For me, a nuke makes a perfect swarm trap. Now my first traps that I got were larger than this, just a little bit wider and maybe just a little bit longer. So really you can take two nuke boxes and put them together and make a swarm trap. Now I like the lower chamber to be a little bit bigger. So I've designed the bottom of this larger. And again, I'll give you those blueprints so you can design one like this if you want to, or again, make them out of two nuke boxes. But I wanna show you the features of this one that I really, really like. It's easy on the bees and definitely easier on the beekeeper. So let's get into this box. So it has a nuke on top and there's toggles on both sides here. So you don't have to use the ratchet straps. So when you catch your swarm of bees in a nuke, if it's a small swarm, you can just take your nuke, go put it on its base and it's done. Now that's easy. But of course, if it's a larger swarm, and it might be, uh, you take your frames out of this nuke, put them in a 10 frame box, take your nuke and hang your swarm trap back up in the tree. Now, some of the features I really like about this worm trap is this hook. Now, this is for deer hunters, but there is a hanger just like this made for swarm traps. Uh, you don't have to hammer a nail into the tree. Uh, you just take a ratchet strap and you strap this straight to a tree. A two inch hole is the perfect size for this long bar to hook your hanger to. Now again, this bottom box is larger than a normal nuke. It's actually about 12 inches. So with the nuke top and he in the bottom it makes about 12 gallons, 12 point. Two, five, 12 and, 12 and a quarter gallons. So some of the other features I like about this hive is that your strap can go here. So not only are you hooking right here at the top, you're also hooking across the back. And I felt that when I first designed my swarm traps, I'd be running the strap here and it would rock on the tree really, really bad. So, you know, I really didn't like that design. I wanted to come up with something easier. Something else I think is really easy is you hook your hook at the top and then you take your box as you're climbing up here. Now you've not got this monster box you're trying to hang up and you will hang this piece into place and then you will take your new top and add it right on top of your base. And again, a couple toggles on both sides. This thing's locked into place. Now I also put toggles to keep the lid on this hive also, which I think is really good. Cause again, that's one less strap you have to wrap around this hive. So I thought it would be good to have a second nuke box. So when you catch a swarm in here, you take your swarm trap down, you place it on your base, get you another nuke box and you're ready to roll again. Well, I hope you catch a big one. 
for this design or the design that you have gotten. But if you don't put a trap up, don't be mad at me if I catch your bees. God bless and have a good day.